there, it's Shell, and today we are going to make another pocket, so or two or five, you know how I how I do. Um, I had to pull out, I had to cut some papers recently, and it was actually in my giveaway boxes, and the 12 by 12s would not fit, so I cut them down to 11 and a half. So sorry, ladies, that got those boxes. <laughs> But I didn't want them to, you know, like be ruined, curled, or anything like that. So I went ahead and I cut them down. Well, I saved all of my uh, scraps to do this one idea that I had seen from Miss Gail. Um, I'm talking about Gail Agostinelli, and she had um, used her scraps. She will keep anything, you know, that's about a half inch or so. I know most of these are a half inch. And you know this piece right here that you, sometimes it has a beautiful color and it's attached and maybe it's perforated? Then that's one thing that she would keep. So she used all of her little perforation ones to make kind of like a basket weave. And I got to thinking how cute that would be. So, um, I thought, well, I'm going definitely going to save my, these pieces, even though they're so tiny, and we're just going to do that. Now, my thought is <clears throat> to kind of just do like a pocket size, maybe. I'm trying to figure it out if it would be easier to do a, um, sorry, I'm thinking. <laughs> easier to do like a larger size or like a pocket size. So I'm going to grab my ATG gun. It's just over here. And I'm going to try something with it. To, sorry, <laughs> make it easier on myself. So one thing I was thinking is if we could like stabilize it, it might be easier. And I am using like a non-stick mat, and I, I have this linked in my description. And whenever you use like a non-stick mat, of course you can use like your ATG gun, whatever, to kind of put tape down, and then later you can peel it back up. So this is my idea, is to just kind of put like pieces over here you know you could and this is one thing I was thinking you could go ahead and um, glue it down to a sheet of paper if you wanted to so see this is like a textured piece but um, I'm just using any that I have but if you don't want to like glue it down to a like a full backing then you can definitely do it like this that's what I'm gonna do we'll see how it works out because now I'm thinking <laughs> I need that to go under so like this piece needs to go here and then this piece needs to go on top of it so right now I'm just kind of doing my um, foundation piece so we're gonna see if we can make this work you guys are probably really familiar with you know this from like kindergarten <laughs> childhood crafts and stuff like that you know so I'm just gonna just kind of thread it on and we're probably just gonna sit here and do a bunch of uh, jabbering okay so let's get another one let's get like a this pink one but, you know, after you're done, and, you know, you could do this in front of the TV, Janet. <laughs> I think it was Janet who was asking me. But, when you're done with this, uh, you know, make a big one, then you can use it over and over again. So, you know, I mean, make a lot of pockets, tags, whatever you want to do. Let's use this funky green one. So, I'm just using some art glitter glue. Again, this is in my 
uh, Amazon's um, description below if you are interested in finding it finding it on Amazon. I really like the art glitter glue. So we're just going to continue doing this back and forth using all different kinds of scraps and hopefully it'll turn out okay. <laughs> So, and I can't leave, you know, put this piece down or it'll glue itself down, and I don't want that. <laughs> so, I'm kind of having, sorry, my husband got a message. <laughs> I don't know if you, uh oh, look what I did. That one should go underneath. Were you guys yelling at me? Michelle, you're messing up again. <laughs> because I wouldn't be surprised because I do mess up a lot. <laughs> um, in another video, we had <laughs> had his uh, um, messenger <coughs> go off because it always does that whistle. And every time it would go off, because I do watch my own videos and such, he's like, oh my gosh, who's bothering me at 2 o'clock in the morning? Because I was watching it, I think it was like 3 o'clock this morning. And he's like, who's bothering me <laughs> at this time of day? But it was just from being on the video. So it's kind of fun for me. <laughs> Man, it's fun for me. That's an emergency. Oh, is it? No, but... Oh, it's yeah. Good. It's an emergency sound for the most part. So, Which, you know, our emergencies are... People dig in like there's a water emergency or something like that. And... It does stress me out. But I have to admit, sometimes I'll text him just to listen to him. <laughs> just to listen to him yell, Oh my gosh, what's going on now? That's the deal. That's good deal. It's my wife being annoying again. <laughs> I don't do it as much anymore. Oh... I'm horrible. I'm very ornery, but he's ornery also, so it works. <laughs> Whatever. They can tell you're ornery. Don't even have to explain it. These are kind of crooked. I'm not sure how they're going to work. Maybe I can just kind of maneuver them when I'm done. What do you guys think? You think so? Awesome. watching Diane Hubert today and she is so sweet she's Diane H on um, Facebook and I'm watching her and she's like talking to her bobbin you know well when I talk to inanimate objects which I do a lot you know she's like okay I'm gonna show you guys an example she's like bobbin what's wrong with you <laughs> And if I was there, I would have been like, I'm just tired and don't want to work. <laughs> or something like that. Because my husband <laughs> will ask, you know, the cats or something. And then I pretend that I'm them. Oh, yeah, that doesn't make a sound. <laughs> they know I'm a nut. <laughs> I'm not telling you guys anything you're not already aware of. Well, I was just thinking, I kept expecting her to do like a voice and say, you know, like, I'm just tired or something, but she didn't. So, I know I'm a nut. I come, come along it, with it honestly. Oh. <laughs> My sister does the same thing. You guys know I was, I have a younger sister. She's four years younger than I am. And I was normal until she was born. You know, granted it was only four years, but that was the most normal in four years I've ever had in my life. Because talk about a nut. But we have fun. <laughs> so, anyways, I did my, I got my Hobby Lobby goodies. Finally, they were supposed to be here Saturday. And then it said... They're supposed to be here yesterday. 
and then I checked because they didn't make it here yesterday either and then they said oh well we dropped them off at the post office which you know our post office during the week is only open for four hours so I didn't get them until today uh, this paper is a little um, torn but I'm just going to go with it because you know it's a junk journal uh, I think I'm going to do like two or three more and then we'll start working up maybe that will be more interesting but yeah but I kind of expected her to do a bobbin voice and she doesn't do that she's more normal than I am <laughs> oh <laughs> so anyways how are you guys doing today I know you expected me to make the sound oh we're okay how are you doing Michelle I'm good I had my headache but I'm feeling much better so uh, what did I say three more let's do one more um ooh, let's do like a bright color on the end so anyways I'm just just working along So we made, um, I think I told you guys this, I think it will go faster after this, but we made homemade sloppy joes and homemade hamburger buns yesterday, and they were so yummy. It was just really, really fun. So I'm going to figure out the best way to do this. Is it, let's see, like this. tomorrow we have work to do so it will be really really starting to get busy really really busy all of a sudden and usually in April it gets really busy 12 hour days 12, yeah 12 hour days but I'm going to try to make videos until I just can't you know because tomorrow I know we'll be in Durango Hopefully not all day, but sometimes we are. Well, I said this is going to be the easy part, but <laughs> I'm not sure it's stuck somewhere. You see my thread going to be here tomorrow? I don't know. I think I'm going to push it. There we go. Hey, I got it. Well, kind of. Oh, you know what? I think I kind of overlapped or something, and so it's kind of not laying right. How did Gail make these look so simple? <laughs> you guys ever do that? You're kind of like, oh, she made it look so simple, and I can do that, and then you're like, how did she do that? Okay, we're going to call that one good. Because it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Right. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just put a little dot, dot of glue on the top one and the bottom one. So at least when I pick it up, it will be in one piece. So let's go ahead and do... I keep looking at that one, but... Let's do... Nah, let's do... Let's do a bright one. Let's do this one. So maybe I need to kind of thread it through like this. Maybe that'll be easier. No, I'm good. So we'll just kind of thread it. So it's such a beautiful spring day today. It just looks so nice and you know but it's starting to get windy and whenever it gets windy is you know a storm's coming so that's definitely what we are expecting 
is another storm and that you know it towards the end of the week today's actually Tuesday okay that worked pretty well there we go let's put a I'm not too worried about lining up the top and the bottom or the front and the back because um, you know I'm gonna I have plenty they're plenty long so I'll just cut them down as I go so that's kind of fun and what's really fun is we're using up a bunch of our you know just scraps that you know most people might throw away but I know better than to throw throw it away and at least tell you guys <laughs> We do have like a compost thing outside and you know I could always compost it I guess that would give it some use anyways but I think that is easier wait this one Ooh, nice see that one just went through like butter maybe the first one's just extra hard to kind of uh, line up and once you get that part I think it'll work out <laughs> the cats are running who is that? is that yours? that is yeah I think so okay. So, <laughs> the cats are wild up, can you hear them? I think I already mentioned that. But, so they run back and forth, so if they do run underneath this, then don't be surprised, because that's definitely what they do, what they do yeah. Uh, like I said, most of these are about half an inch. And if you don't have any scraps, you could definitely just cut them down to half an inch. But I have tons of scraps, so. Tons and tons. Uh, my next journal, I think I told you guys, is going to be a um, farm journal. And I'm kind of gathering, you know, things for that right now because we'll start that probably this month next Monday um, so it's kind of looking cute what do you guys think can I talk about? Got to look up to your new handle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you know what? I downloaded a new book, so I'm interested in reading that. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the man. He's a singer. He was a country and I think gospel singer uh, Rory Feek I think R-O-R-Y-F-E-E-K anyways his wife passed from some kind of cancer I can't remember what it was and he has like a new book out there about his story of living without you know his wife so I did download that today and I get like a I have the Nook, so and I love books and I love reading, so I did download that. So that'll be a fun read, I think. And it was such a sad, you know. We've seen like all of the interviews and stuff that he's been in, and it's just a sad situation. You feel so bad for him, and they had like a little daughter who has Down syndrome, and I think she was two maybe when he passed, or she passed, his the mother. So, 
I'll be reading that book, and they're strong Christians, and that was really important. So I thought it'd be a fun read. Probably be a sad read, one of those that make you cry, but you know, sometimes you just have to. But I think this will be perfect for a little farm. Well, and even a couple of farm journals. You know, I think I can get, you know, quite a bit of ephemera and stuff out of this one little um, page that I'm doing. And then I'll show, when we get this done, I will show you how I uh, actually cut it and stuff without it falling apart and things like that. Hopefully. That is the goal. <laughs> have a lot to say today. I'm trying to think of anything else that was seen or heard or read or, yeah, not a lot. Um, let's see, I did do a haul on my Hobby Lobby goodies, so I don't know if you'll see this one first or that video, but... If you want it, want to see it, it's out there somewhere, or will be soon. It's kind of zoning, you know, you're kind of doing it and you're kind of zone out. But, I mean, you're making a whole sheet of paper out of just little tiny scraps. And if you don't like, you know, certain pieces, then, you know, put them like this and you don't see them as much. Oops. <laughs> oh, that was fun. And, uh, you know, you can kind of camouflage the color of the paper you don't care for. guys want to go ahead and fast forward through this you certainly can <laughs> you know me I'm just gonna jabber about nothing probably because I can't think of anything to talk about oh we did see a uh, Robin showed up on the lawn today and that's the first time we've seen a Robin this season so that's exciting we usually have two or three that show up and so that's kind of, you know, like I said, that's exciting because then we know winter is definitely on the way. Uh, we also have had a family of bluebirds, which is funny because, you know, years ago, just like three or four years ago, we could take a walk on the road and there would be bluebirds everywhere about a mile up the road, but they didn't ever come here. And now we have them actually come into our yard, which is really fun for us. You know, we both like to watch birds and stuff, so that's kind of fun. This one's kind of buckled, it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, we're kinda, we kind of like to look at birds and keep track of the ones we see and things like that. It's really fun for us. We're seeing Orioles here, and is it Grosbeaks? Grosbeaks, we've seen those. And, you know. We've seen several different varieties. Yeah, we've seen a bunch of different varieties. And up in the mountains, we go up in the mountains a lot during the summer, and we'll see like a grouse. And grouse is like a big, it's kind of like a game bird. People you know, hunt for grouse up here, and we're seeing like grouse mamas with, you know, a litter of babies or whatever they're called, uh, crossing the road or whatever, and we've gotten pictures and stuff, so that's kind of fun. It's definitely too early to try to cross the mountain, 
So might as well go up and just see how far over the mountain we can go. But I was watching that one of the passes, they said won't be open again for another like two weeks or something because of the avalanches. This is one of the worst years for the avalanches. Let's put in one of these kind of, this is like a homemade paper type paper. <laughs> Oh yeah, we go up and we, you know, look for mushrooms, and I mean, they don't come out until like August or so, but when we go, we find <coughs> gray jays, which a gray jay is also known as a camp robber, and this, you know, like, there's a couple of them, they'll kind of follow you around, you know, looking for food or something, and we took, would take my niece up to go um, looking for mushrooms and she would take her crackers or her lunch and like hold it out in her hands and the gray jays would actually come up to her hand and get them. So, you know, that was really fun. She really enjoyed that. And we got pictures and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, wildlife critters are just so fun to uh, just fun to experience you know we've seen a lot of them Ooh, this one we're getting there guys raspberries yeah we go up and you know we do look for mushrooms and we have a saying that no mushroom is worth dying over. So, if we're not familiar with it, we don't. <laughs> we do not eat it because some of them are really poisonous. But while we're up there, we also look for wild raspberries and then we'll pick them and make some jelly. And my husband covets that jelly. <laughs> and my mother-in-law, I sent her some and she's like, I'm hiding it, nobody's gonna because it's hard to pick those raspberries. They're so prickly and, you know, so they both kind of covet the raspberry jelly. And if my husband thinks you're deemed worthy of giving you a jar of his, then that's pretty special. <laughs> We've had some friends that do like a special favor for him or something and he'll give them a raspberry jelly. <laughs> that's kind of funny. But, you know, it's just a simple, simple thing, but, you know, people just love raspberry jelly. And it is really good. I mean, it's like nothing you would taste in the store. It's just really fresh and really, it's different. I'm not that big of a fan of raspberries, but I really love the wild ones when they're fresh. They're pretty good, but I don't mind making the jelly. It doesn't bother me at all. And then I'll tell Clint that I ate it all. <laughs> That's always humorous. <laughs> he doesn't think so, but you know. He doesn't mind too much. Okay, shall we just quit here so you guys don't have to watch me do this forever? Let's do like three more. And then that should be almost 8 inches so, or 11 inches. And maybe it will fit like on the back of a sheet of paper. Let's just do that. Okay. This one's got a little rip in it too. Kind of right there, but it's not horrible.
Okay, one more. Let's just do one more. Let's do this one because since I am use, going to use this mainly for like my journals, my uh, farm journals, and I'll probably make a couple of, of those to besides the one I'm going to show you guys to put in my Etsy store because I haven't had a journal in there for the last week or so they all sold but you know of course I will share that with you guys once that is uh, once I get some in there <laughs> so I'm hoping to find some things I can take with me in the car because you know sometimes we drive for two and a half hours or so and before we get to a job and then we jump out do the job and it takes like 10 minutes and then we're back in the car for another two hours with our work so kind of find some stuff to take with me that I can kind of do while we're in the car okay we're gonna call that pretty good and I am gonna go grab a sheet of 9 by 11 sheet of paper and we're going to transfer all of this onto that. So I will be right back. <clears throat> okay, guys. So what I did is I didn't want to waste any of these little guys. So I went ahead and went all the way down to 11 and a half inches. Or 11, yeah, 8 and a half by 11, 11 inches. Mm -hmm. And I think I just had to add like four more. And now I am just going to kind of go on this side I don't know if you guys can see that and glue down each of these little strips so when I pick it up you know it doesn't fall apart on me that's my hope anyways so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on each one of the edges just to make it work And then I'm going to double check and make sure that, you know, these guys are all glued down well. So I figured if I check the ones on top, maybe that will be okay. And then I'm going to check this side just to make sure, you know, nothing's obvious. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just pull this off. And because this is an on-stick mat, it'll come up really easily. How nice is that? <laughs> Wrinkled everything there. Okay, so. Looks pretty good. I mean, I have some holes and stuff, but you know, that's not a problem. So what I was thinking is, you know, I have this piece of tape here and you know I was going to use like a cardstock but this is pretty sturdy because of all those papers and I thought well if I go ahead and use like a coffee dyed paper then it will um, actually I'm not sure how to do this <laughs> but it will if I use coffee dyed paper I can use it as like for journaling cards and stuff you know so what I'm going to do, I think, is just go ahead and just put like a line of glue on each uh, row. Try to get like a dot of glue on each one. I'm just going to do it like halfway for now, just to make sure that I, you know, kind of don't mess it up. We'll see. And this glue does dry pretty quick, so I'm just going to kind of try to get a little bit straight anyways and you know I was thinking well since we're going to be cutting them I don't want to have all you know little pieces flying off and stuff so we're going to see how we can make this work hopefully it'll be fine again I'm using art glitter glue in case I didn't mention that yet and you're new here because this is pretty much the only glue I use. 
and I always always have it listed in my description below. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna kind of rub that down and make sure it's well. Hopefully, you know, all the squares are caught well, and then we'll just kind of going around the edges just to make sure. A little much glue there. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry for just a few minutes and there's some other things I wanted to do so I'm going to go get those products I want to use and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and trim this down and I'm just going along the back. I'm just going to line it up so that try to anyways. doesn't seem very sharp anymore. Hmm. And last side. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so now all I have to do is cut these down to um, to the shapes we want. I will keep this stuff, especially, you know, until I finish my journal, you know, these things can be used for collaging, things like that. So, let's go ahead and, this is about 11. So, 3 into 11 is, let's just do 3.5, that'd be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, let's do 3.5 inch pockets. I didn't really do the math, but I did enough so I can kind of figure it out. <laughs> so they're all about similar, you know, they don't have to be exactly. And let's go ahead and do two and a half here. And this one, which I think is what, uh, three and three quarters, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half. I know they were about eight and a half. So let's do four and a quarter. Is that what I want to do? Yeah. So then I'll have all these pockets that I can decorate with and put in my journal. And don't worry, Tora, I'm being careful with my cutter. <laughs> I promise I won't cut a finger off. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Okay, so, okay, so now we have, I mean, yeah, it took a while to do, you know, the weaving, but six pockets out of that, and, you know, it doesn't, oops, sorry, I need to clean up my mess, it's really bad, but, but anyways, it doesn't take that long to, you know, make pockets this way, uh, you know, some of them are still, not quite glued down but you know I can kind of mess with that and glue as needed so but for the most part they stay together and that's what we were aiming for you know how it kind of but I'll just do the this one okay so uh, again I am using some vintage photo distress ink uh, that piece kind of came off. That's okay. Just to go around the edges, you know, I was thinking he could kind of go in and out and kind of have it a little bit more uh, dimension by just kind of doing that and catching all the little edges. 
So let's just work on this one for now. But see how the color just kind of changed? It went from really bright, you know, more to like a dirty, I don't know, to me it looks like a patchwork uh, blanket or something. I think it's really pretty. So, and then what I was thinking is to grab something fun like a sticker or a chipboard piece or you know something like that even a saying maybe do a little collage though i think that might be a bit much but you know you just want to kind of play and i loved this little sticker and actually i still have lace out so of course i'm going to add lace i have some right here beside me that i haven't put up yet <clears throat> so i'm just going to trim this off like a way for squeamish. I used to really be because I was a crocheter, but I'm fine now. <laughs> okay, and I'm just going to kind of put this down. And we're just decorate them, you know? I mean, that's really all you have to it and then there's your pocket you just put glue here 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 and you know you can use it as journaling cards or pockets or whatever you want to do but isn't that cute I love that okay we still have a little bit of time so we're gonna do the rest of them because they're so fun <laughs> okay let me see what I need to glue down Oh, those are pretty glued down. Well, that one's not. Okay. So really, it doesn't take that long, you know, and it feels like it. <laughs> when you're doing it but you know in the grand scheme of things this is about how long it takes us to do you know any amount of pockets really and of course you don't have to just use this for pockets in fact Miss Gale used it and made um, tags which I thought was really cool that's actually where I got the idea I think I might have mentioned that I got this idea from Gail I think I did I try to always give credit where credit, you know, if I know who did it, then I try to give them credit. So, I think these are really fun. Did I already do that one? Yeah, I did. And, of course, one of these will go into my um, sample book. And if you guys haven't checked out those videos, then be sure and check that out. I have a video showing how I made a book, how I store my ephemera for ideas. So if everything I make, I try to make at least one extra and stick it in that book. So when I'm at a loss, I can refer back to that book. I'll pull that out in a minute and we will stick one of these guys in there because they're fun to they're fun to show you guys boy it is so windy outside it's crazy yeah it will almost done glue and I just want to make sure you know that these hold up for a long time not just temporary and then I'm just going to ink them just just to kind of bring back that color you know drop it back a little bit and kind of add a little bit more interest if you you know seen the older quilts in like antique shops and stuff they all kind of have like a dingy look 
which I love because it just, you know, you can tell they've been well loved, well used. And that's why I like to use my Distress ink. So the outside cats are out there hunting. We have tons of birds right now. And we have outside cats and they're all hunting the birds out there. And seems like the birds are always a little bit faster. They're not always, but it seems like it. <laughs> it's kind of funny though to see them kind of stalking around and you know, trying to catch them. And it's really quite, quite humorous. So, uh, again, when I'm doing pockets and stuff, I try to just use one, one um, technique pocket, you know, like one of these per journal. Try to have different ideas and different, um, you know, uh, pockets per journal, different tags. Try not to do like duplicates. Sometimes I do, you know, if I feel like, oh, you know, the only thing that's going to work is another one of those cool pockets, then I might do it. But for the most part, I try not to. And there are no rules in junk journaling. If you are new, there's no rules. So that's the fun part. I love how a look of Distress Ink just kind of makes it, you know, I mean, I just love that look. Okay, guys, now all we're going to do is decorate these guys, and we'll be done. And we will have six pockets. That is so fun. I love that. Okay, you know what? Let's cut out one of these roses, just because uh, a lot of times when I'm doing pockets, I don't um, put a lot of bulk either, but... I don't think this will cause, you know, that much issue. And I'm just cutting around the rows and then I'm pulling out the stitches so my rows won't fall apart that had it attached. Try not to cut it. But, you know, you don't have to do anything this, um, you know, you can just use stickers. It doesn't have to be anything that's intensive, you know, or fancy. Depends on what look you're going for. I just happened to see this and I thought <coughs> that'd be pretty on one of these. Kind of dress it up a little bit. <coughs> I guess I don't really have to pick out the little attachments to them. nicer. Okay. Me as well since I'm kind of doing it anyways. I'm getting there guys. <laughs> we'll do easy on the rest of them. I didn't think this would take that long. But I love, you know, finding like doilies and things that you can cut up for your projects. And I am a crocheter. My mother-in-law is a crocheter. My husband's a crocheter. And it's hard sometimes to cut up some of these. So some of them, if we really love them, we don't cut them up. Because we know the work that goes into them, you know. So that's kind of cute. 
I really like that. Let me grab just some of this lace here and just kind of cut like a little square. And you know, um, again, when we're doing pockets, if you only want to bring it to one area and you're, I mean, you're sticking them in your stash anyways, but you think, oh, I just want to get the main part of the pocket done with no embellishment, you could certainly do that. And then you're kind of one step ahead of the game when you go to decorate, and then you can decorate it how you want to with your, um, you know, at that time, whenever you're ready to use it. So that's kind of cute, like that. But you know, and then I like to have some decorated up so that I can just go in there and look and see what I have. And maybe I can, you know, pull from there. Uh, since we live on a farm, we have tons, <laughs> I bought tons of farm stickers. So, ooh, I just want to use this cute little chicken. <laughs> so, but he needs something behind him. What does he need? Is lace too, too much? I don't know. Think, think. Oh, wait. What do I have here? Ooh, check these out. Okay, let's just kind of give him a little backdrop of paper. So... I like to tear my paper so that I have a white kind of edge around it. So let's kind of do that. Kind of give him a little bit of a backdrop that might be kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. So we'll put him here. He's slip sliding. And you know, you could sew on this, whatever you wanted to do. Let's see, he's a little crooked. But isn't that cute? Let's see if there's anything else I want to add. Let's add an itty bitty chicken. <coughs> like they're talking to each other. Hi, Mama. husband just rolled his eyes. <laughs> I do that all the time though whether I'm on camera or off so how does that make me? <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> okay um, let's do this one. I really like just the simple kind of gardening stickers. Oh and I ordered a, did I tell you guys I ordered a beautiful journal from uh, June's Journals on Etsy and she's in Russia. I haven't received it yet. I just ordered it and I'm so excited to get that so I'm going to use that for my uh, for our garden this year. Keep track of things that we put in there. So let's see what else we have. We have these. Uh, I wasn't sure and I'm still not sure if any of these would work. I have these. There's a garden gnome. <laughs> Grown with love. That's cute. I don't know. I might save that and maybe put that in my other journal. I have these guys. They're kind of cute. What about a tractor? Yeah, let's do that. Uh oh, I ripped his tire off. Okay. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of distress ink around it, just to kind of, you know, camouflage that, um, what am I thinking, that white, <laughs> what am I talking about? Okay, I'm going to tear this too, it kind of looks like grass. I think 
that'll work. This kind of looks like he's maybe out in the field. really sticky but I still like to double up with the glue and I think I just did it big enough <laughs> I'm just going to glue kind of like a pocket and then we can have a little tuck spot there. That's kind of cute. So then we can just put a little tuck something up under there. And last one, I bet you guys are breathing a sigh of relief. And let's just see what we want to do on this one. Maybe we'll just put this little pig down here because the two little pigs, mama and baby, because um, kind of has that pink kind of over here and it kind of goes in pretty well. I didn't worry about inking around it because you can't really see the white. So we'll put a little baby right here. That's cute. So like I said, these do have a little bit of bulk, but not enough to worry about, I don't think. So again, I'll show them to you. So there's that one. Isn't that cute? Here's the tractor one. That's kind of cute. Here's the mommy and the baby chicken. That could be a rooster though, so it could be daddy and the baby. This one I really like. I think that one turned out really cute. I love this one. You know, I think maybe because it looks like a fan. I think that is really cute. And then we have this one. Just simple. So thank you guys so much for hanging in there with me today. I know it was kind of painful to watch or to record. But, you know, I think it turned out really, really cute. Hope you guys get... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's put one in our book. As an example, so here's our book. Let's just kind of go in here and see what I have. I think I'm going to have to put some empty pages in here. There's one. And then I'm just going to put this one in mainly because it's my least favorite. <laughs> because I didn't embellish it, you know, a whole lot. And then I'll just put this pocket right here. So you can't even see that. Right here. Isn't that pretty? So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button if you want to listen to me some more. And I do put up videos daily right now. I'm not sure how long that will last, but I'm working on it. So thanks for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And we will see you in the next video. You guys have a wonderful day.